This next one is unquestionably one of my favorite stories of the day. Alex Jones sees a CIA conspiracy in the terrorist jihadist group Boko Haram in Nigeria that just kidnapped those girls. The Boko Haram situation. I've spent about a week watching this and haven't commented much. And I went and did some research just to confirm my previous research. Because I have the knowledge. I've done the research, but there's so much research it gets foggy. And I went, is it Boko Haram protected and used to manipulate the Christian majority, animus majority, those two together, in Nigeria? Isn't Boko Haram in the North CIA connected? I was sitting there watching Boko Haram with the sound off, and I went, that's staged. That's totally fake. And it's just like so much other stuff. I told you that abortion lady saying she loves getting abortions and holds a picture of the dead baby. I told you she was an actress. It came out she was an actress. I mean, the Boko Haram thing's fake. I'm going to explain why I think so. I don't have total proof, but I got a lot of evidence. And watch, it'll come out later. It's staged. But let me just say this. We know Boko Haram is working for Western intelligence agencies as a central... Western or Western Central destabilization force. So I knew Boko Haram or Boku Haram was a double, triple agent operation because the majority are Christian and animist. If you add those two groups together in Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, like 300 million people or something now, almost. I mean, it's incredible. And that they're being used as a pretext to basically militarize the central government that, again, is Christian slash animus or earth worship group. And that they're playing that group off against them so that Nigeria will take Western aid and more IMF World Bank funding. And so they can be controlled by the globalist. Here's my question for Alex Jones. Is there anything that's not a conspiracy? Anything. Anything? There are hundreds, if not thousands, of jihadist groups in the world that want Sharia. All different size, they have all different levels of influence. Are they all U.S. government funded? I mean, just to give you a couple that we've discussed on this show before, we have Al-Nusra Front, we have ISIS. These are two groups that are... Uh, currently fighting in Syria on the side of the rebels trying to topple Assad. We, of course, have Al-Qaeda. We have Al-Shabaab. We have Boko Haram, etc., etc. So, I mean, what is it? Every single one of them is uh, CIA-funded? And I, I always have this the same question for Alex Jones whenever he talks about different shootings being conspiracies, right? Like the one in the movie theater, the Aurora movie theater, well, that one right there was definitely uh, a conspiracy. And then the Sandy Hook, well, that was obviously a conspiracy too. And But wait, do you realize that there are 32,000, 32,000 gun deaths in the U.S. every single year? So that's just a tiny number of all of the mass shootings and the suicides and this and that. How many of them are uh, U.S. government CIA conspiracies? And if there are some that aren't, why do they need to do the ones that are? Because they could just point to the ones that aren't CIA conspiracies and use them to justify whatever policies Alex Jones think they want to justify anyway. So why do the overkill and why do some that are supposedly staged? It doesn't add up. And by the way, how about the fact that your whole argument was, oh, the reason why they staged the Sandy Hook shooting was to come and take the guns. Er, they haven't come to take the guns. How about, th they couldn't even get a watered-down background check bill past Congress. Never mind a universal background check bill passed, they couldn't get that. Never mind a high-capacity magazine bill uh, ban passed, they couldn't get that. Never mind an assault weapons ban, which still would have left all the shotguns, all the rifles, all the pistols, they couldn't get that passed. But you're out there saying they're going to use that to take away all the guns? They couldn't even get a background check passed with 947 loopholes. So you're wrong because there's no motive. The same thing with this, uh, with this idea, too. Well, obviously, Boko Haram is uh, it's the CIA. The CIA is behind it. 
And look, I'm not saying there are no conspiracies. We've been over this a hundred times. The Bay of Pigs is a legitimate conspiracy. The Tuskegee experiments, legitimate conspiracy. Operation Northwoods, etc., etc. Am I saying I don't have questions about other things that I think are up in the air, that the official response was shitty? Absolutely. I don't think 9-11 was an inside job, but that doesn't mean I don't think that Building 7 is fucking weird as hell. Okay? So I'm not some kind of closed-minded asshole who just likes... Who, who brushes people off whenever they bring up the idea of a conspiracy. But that doesn't mean that everything is a fucking conspiracy. I had a bagel this morning. Is there some kind of conspiracy behind that, Alex? Am I part of the conspiracy? Am I in the New World Order? I mean, I might be, right? I appear to be just a sh shitty little uh, internet radio show, but who knows, man? Maybe I'm on the government payroll. I'm just throwing it out there. Alex, is it true? Am I one of the lizard people? I don't know. But, uh, here, just I'll throw out a couple more things about Boko Haram. Quote, Boko Haram is a militant organization based in the northeast of Nigeria, North Cameroon, and Niger, uh, found, founded by Muhammad Yusuf in 2002, so they've been around for a while. The organization seeks to establish a pure Islamic state ruled by Sharia, putting a stop to what it deems westernization. The group is known for attacking Christians, Muslims, and government targets, as well as for bombing churches, mosques, schools, and police stations. The group also kidnaps Western tourists and has assassinated members of the Islamic establishment who have criticized the group. Violence linked to Boko Haram insurgency has resulted in an estimated 10,000 deaths between 2002 and 2013. So, if the plan was to get the U.S. to take over Nigeria and make them uh, take our banks and all that stuff, here's a question. Why didn't we go in there in 2002 when we supposedly created the group in the first place? And what? so the conspiracy was, let's make the group, let them kill 10,000 people, wait 10 years, and then we'll go in, and by the way, when we go in, we're only going to send a small team, not even the military. That appears to be the world's worst conspiracy, if it indeed is a conspiracy. Which leads to the inevitable conclusion that it is not a conspiracy. And the sad thing is that, on the issue of war, I think uh, Alex Jones and I probably agree almost 100%. The idea that he's against the Iraq War, he's against the Afghanistan War, he's against U.S. imperialism. Dude, uh, hello, I'm the biggest guy on the internet arguing for that. I argue for it more than anybody else. I hate American imperialism. I hate any kind of war. The only time I want to use U.S. troops is if it's for uh, self-defense of the nation as a last resort. That's the only time I would say it's okay to use them. So we agree on the policy, you know? I don't want to go into Nigeria either. I'm fine with NATO going in there, and we can send some some aid to have NATO go in there to take out whoever's doing these horrible acts, right? But, yeah, I agree with you on the idea of let's not use the military all nonchalant, like Bush did, like Obama's doing. I'm with Alex on the NSA. Yes, the NSA, they're acting unconstitutional. We need to rein it back in. They can't spy on us. They can't do the metadata. This is a violation of Fourth Amendment. But he takes it way too far, and frankly, in a lot of cases... He just makes shit up.